the bench today we have a Sinclair ZX81 um, I picked this up recently I have powered it on I've given it a test and it appears to be working fine I did get um, this um, 16k RAM pack um, and the machine isn't booting on when this is plugged in so there's clearly an issue with this so I may have a look at that in a future video. Um, what I'm going to do with this one though is <coughs> it's not actually needing repaired but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the the composite mod because the RF's terrible. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the, the internal uh, mod on the RAM for the 16K rather than using the, the, the plug-in RAM pack which could be quite unreliable connection wise uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into two videos because uh, I don't have the, the upgraded RAM chip uh, to hand so that's on order um, but I do have all the bits and pieces to put together the um, composite mod which I'm, going to, I'm just going to do it on a bit of breadboard. Um, I may at some stage do something similar uh, to what I plan to do with my, my Coleco. Um, at the moment, um, one similar to, to this is installed in my Coleco just on a, on a bit of strip board. Um, but what I did was um, actually got some made up um, got them manufactured for PCB way um, so this is ready to be done um, I'll just solder all the bits together all these components because they're, they're not soldered they're just sitting in there at the minute uh, I've been meaning to do this for quite a while um, take the old one out and put that one in just because it looks better much neater um, so I may do something similar, <coughs> uh, similar with this, um, but I think initially we'll get it done on the strip board just so that I can get um, a better display on the screen. Right, so I'll move all this out of the way, I don't need that at the moment. Um, I'll open the machine up. Um, I won't be putting the machine back together for testing. I don't want to be continually removing the, um, the keyboard membrane because um, I'd rather not have to replace it um, and it seems to be working um, just fine at the moment so okay, I'm just going to put this aside just now uh, and get on with Putting all this together, ordered, ordered all the bits I need, and I'm going to be working off of. Uh, let's see now. Working off of this. That's all these components that I have on the desk. Um, and I'm just going to build the circuit and hopefully that should be that should be it <coughs> right, ok that's the bit of board prepped I ended up just using the Dremel you know, quicker than using a blade now I'm going to start off by soldering in the, the 555 timer
Right, that's, uh, that's a long circuit complete. All I'm really left to do is, is just trim it up a little. Um, now, I'm not going to remove um, everything from the can and replace it uh, with this. this. This is going to sit separately um, in case I ever wanted to revert back to um, its original condition. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the heat sink, take out the 7805 and put in, put in one of these as a replacement. Um, they run much cooler, no need for no need for the big heat sink to be in there. Um, like I did in my Spectrum though, um, I will keep both the heat sink and, and the, um, the 7805 just in case I want to change things back at a later date. Um, this will be the, the RAM chip that will be replaced when I'm upgrading. Um, so in part two it will be a case of removing this from the board, putting a socket in, um, putting in the new, the new RAM chip, um, which is going to require um, a few pins um, not socketed um, and connected to um, I think it's like three pins will be connected to three of these diodes down here but we'll go over that when, uh, uh, when I do that part of the video um, so for now um, I'm going to get this installed and that installed Right, we're back. Um, I decided to have a, a little change of plan. Um, I just replaced uh, the modulator. Um, it's a little neater doing it this way. Um, I have kept the original and I'll be setting that aside. Um, I'm just a way to put in the new regulator. Taking out the 7805. Um, so that part is done. Well, I say it's, it's a lot neater having the board sitting in there than just randomly stuffed in the case. So what I'm going to do it. Um, tape going to sit above the board anyway. There is a gap there. Uh, but I'd rather not take any chances. Right, get this soldered in. And then we can give it a little a little test. Done. Um, 
so I'm just going to hook it up. Uh, maybe that's not great. I'll just hook up to my uh, little screen. Never the, it's never the best on uh, composite for some reason. <coughs> it's lovely and clear on HDMI, but composite's a bit iffy. But it'll be good enough for this test. Say this this monitor is a bit iffy. Sure, what was causing causing the issue there um, with the lines across the screen? So I thought, well, the only big change I made um, was the voltage regulator. So I've put the original back in, and uh, as you'll see, it's it's a pretty good picture um, that I'm getting now. Uh, so that was obviously causing some kind of interference. So I checked the voltage, it seemed quite steady. Um, and there was no fluctuation in the 5 volts. So I'm not really sure what was going on there. But I'm happy enough to leave, the, leave that one in. Yeah. Right, so that's, that's basically all I can do uh, for now until I get the new memory chip and I'll replace I'll then plug this one um, I'll replace that and upgrade it to the 16 uh, obviously still waiting on that coming um, I'm not going to piece the machine back together yet uh, the ribbon cable will go solid at the minute uh, it definitely looks like it's got a wee bit of a crack appearing on that side there. And if that tears all the way across, then I'll have to replace it. So, 
yeah, it'll be going in. Um, not coming back out anytime soon once all the work's been done. Right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe, um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.